morning guys welcome back to the channel so today this morning because i was time no i look out for my charm i watch <laughs> But after I live in the morning, you know, or something like that. So I've received the paper because last year I did my um, application for my ID. I wouldn't call it voter's ID or whatever ID. Yeah, ID. national ID for the national yeah, ID really or awesome. whatever. Um, yeah, BJ is driving, guys. Say good morning. Good morning, guys. So I'm sending an application and everything. And I was here for I think four months waiting for them to come do them verification of the address wherever I lived and whatever. Nobody not come until a week after I left Jamaica, right? So few months done at uh, this at uh, this year? Uh, this year when I get the paper? This year, July, right? Them um say that them send a paper at the house and I thought it was the paper to collect the ID so that's from July that's in July so I came back I went back to the States in January and them send the paper there in July right um I was thinking it was for the ID because whatever them state for the paper is like you have to go to the post office to pick up the ID so I went to the post office this morning so when I went the lady took the paper and she went through the letters and she didn't see my name on any of the letters so she said to me that we have to go to the EOJ office so that's the electoral um, office of Jamaica right so I really like so I went there and I was explaining to the guy that whatever the uh, so post office clerk told me she said to me that you should go and tell them the cinema you should go and tell them that um there was a registered letter that was sent to the post office which got sent back to them so i'm gonna go there i'm for my charge so i'm gonna go there i'm gonna tell the guy i explain to the guy i say them normally send no letters so what are she stating what is she stating so i say um she's it's supposed to be an id so i'm take up some envelope and i go through it so it's like, oh, I so him said to me, say, him think I missed the verification, the sit down, whatever you wanted to say. So I missed the verification of my address, and it's three attempts, and I wasn't here. So I explained to him, listen, I don't live in the states, and I was here, and I explained that to the office that I went to fill out the application. I I told him I was here like for four months if they could get somebody to come verify verify my address before I left. Because men all live here. Anyways, he said that I missed the attempt fun blah 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 blah. So I explained to him why. Yada yada yada. So it's like I had to reapply just now. And I said to him that I'm not gonna be here long. So if I could get somebody to come and verif verify my address before I I leave the, the country. Um, the other guy is going to say, oh, I don't think this is possible. So I said, well, this is Jamaica. I know it might not be possible, but can you guys do something? Because I don't live here. I'm leaving. And every time I come here to reapply, it won't make any sense. Because I'm going to keep on missing the verification because I don't live here. I come here two times a year. So he's like, okay, I won't be getting the ID till next year, June, whatever be the case. I'm like, I just want to be verified. that I. It's not about getting the IDs, about being verified so i don't have to come back to reapply because we can go and use my passport if anything whatever so um i reapply and he did it and he's like okay they should be doing some rounds in the community that i live and he's going to see but him say i'm still not sure if it's gonna be possible but him take down my directions and all them someday but i'm like you know i would like to be verified it's not about getting the id at this point because even if we get it this year, the ending of this year or next year, you no know, you know matter. I just want to be verified because if, if I come back, come reapply for the same something, don't make no sense to me. You know? Don't make a sense to me. So I'm like, why do we have to wait for 
a ID like six months and I up to a year or all of them someday. Like there is nobody who's going to change that law in Jamaica. I would really want to know who is going to change this law. Because in the States, I got a DMV, I sign up. For my ID, nobody not come me, I come check if I didn't live yes or no. Because we're already in their system. Them already has pipe on we. They already can't tell you where we are do where we, from where we now do. So there's nobody I come here, I come pick up no census. I come verify your address if I do you live yes or no. You understand? And even if you're going to do that, where is going to take you six months? Why somebody have to wait for them national ID for so much months? Like a two weeks, you know? In the States, as they look two weeks, they come in my email, they come in my uh, mailbox. I call it my ID. And I go and book my business. Like, I don't even have to go back to the office, it comes straight to my yard. So, why Jamaica, we have to stay so long? Why? Because I say, okay, I missed the batch for December. The batch for December gone out yesterday. So, all of you are going to get them ID December of this year. I not in the batch day. I don't have the batch till next year, 2021. June 2021. That, that's annoying. Like, how can you do business without your ID? And they might tell us, right now, they might tell us, your ID might be tearing. You can't do this without your tearing. You can't do this without your ID. You can't do this without that. You can't do this without. Listen, my company have run today. Because this is so annoying. And like every government thing you do at Jamaica, it takes too long. Like, why can't you just go and do something and get it back in even month time? If them can't make it in other weeks. People need job, you know? Because right now, I'm going under the office, there are two somebody in their work. And people in a waiting area wait. People need jobs, like give people things to do. Like a lot of kids that leave school want a job. Train them to do them a kind of job, yeah. People are supposed, supposed to have a lot of people out on the road that pick up census and whatever. It's that, if I data your policy here. People need job, man. And when you go in an office like them, I want somebody or two, somebody at work. It is annoying and then they're tell us you have to go wait too much, too much, too much, too much. Why? If you, pay, if you print one something like we do IDs at our business place. And we know say ID not take long to make. So why why we not go come tell we say we have to go wait six months for a reason? For one piece of paper, one piece of plastic something. Like this is ridiculous. Like somebody need to change a lawyer that six months period is too long. And this stupid verification thing, I go too long. Cause the matter if you miss this batch, miss that. But like me, me just come sign up today. Why somebody can't come on my yard in a space of that week here? You gotta tell me, say, oh, them do them rounds in another the area already. Oh, you missed that the round. Like, what the hell? Like, there's certain things in Jamaica we need for draw up. And this, everything I do, government wise, need for draw up in another country. I too long draw out and stretch out. It too long. Like people want them, you have to have your, 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 your proper documentation to do your businesses and it is so annoying that it takes you so long. Even, register, even when we are registered, we want a business. Like, right now I was going to re-register it because something went for add on. But when we look on the time span, you know, it makes no damn sense. It no make no sense, you know. Like everything takes long, everything does stretch out. Like, what? Why? You only need to hire more people if you don't have enough people for help you know, to make the process them go faster. And yes, guys, this is a side of me. Like, I, I rant a lot. I, I debate a lot. And when, when things don't make sense to me, I have to talk about it. And right now, I'm really annoyed. I'm really annoyed at Jamaica system. Like, why you have to wait so long to get certain things done? Like, that is why enough people now have no ID, enough people now have no bird surface ticket, enough people now have no car, them can't take the long way, the process. JPF is saying this. Well, thank God. Thank God them changed the, the ID application. Cause back then, you have to go to JP, you have to do your own picture, them and all of that. No, you take a picture of them right there, then do your fingerprint and all of that. JP now have to, now have to sign. But back then you have to go go take a picture of them. JP you have to sign it. And you have to do this and you have to do that. You have to run up and down and get. But even when you when when open an account. You have to talk up. Can say, but even when you open an account, you have to get JP and this amount for signing and that amount for signing. And some people not signing because they don't, they don't know you. And then again, Justice of the Peace. Tell me how you are going to know everybody. You have to 
are just you are just a piece. They tell us you have to live in a them in a them in a them. I'm gonna say the district for them for them for them sign it. But some of them, even if you come from Saint Anne and you go to one in a Saint Anne, they make you a hard time same way because they matter about they don't know you. They they're not going to know you personally. Basically, like that no. It's kind of hard for your young youth to get an account and say, I'm going to save him money. That's why some people are going to rob you. They say, I'm going to get for do what I'm going to do. So they turn to something else. Listen, they tell people so they forget things done the right way. That's why people do things illegally. Yeah, but, because when you do things the right way, yeah, they get too long. Yeah, but you have to get so, that under the sign, you have to get reference under the man. If you want, you have to more account. That's listen, the like, person. them some men in Jamaica want to fix it here, people. And in the comments, you guys can leave some sentiments toward these things because I don't know. I don't say no, we alone have an issue. We alone can't have an issue with this system. And we all need to talk up. Because a lot of things in here want to fix. The customs business at the airport want to fix. And everything we deal with um, government business needs to fix. It needs to fix. It needs to fix. Because me no come here for do my business. They tell me something I can't get my ID for use. Not even one temporary something for use. Me have to go sit down till the wall at 2021. We don't even know if we're gonna be here for 2021. Well guys, enough of us ranting over here. Um But we have to talk about this something here because we are human and where we are living and where we are see. And it is very overbearing. I'm not telling a lie. So I'm going to see how long somebody's going to take to come and verify my address this time and they give me a number to call and if I see that the days are boiling down and nobody no come I'm going to call and let them know say listen I'm leaving the country I'm not come back here come come reapply for no ID no ID me not come back here come come reapply for this is my second application I'm going to feel like some if I come back here come come do it again so i'm going to see how, yeah, how soon like, they're going to make somebody come i'm um, address come see say yes so i uh, yes so me leave and then bj asks him if he can do the sign up for the renewal of his id he might tell him say that lock off till must the next month like we can't understand what because, the hell because even if you yeah, no, even no, if no. you are renew your, your never and for a month you know say to even if you renew your, your driver's license, it's something that, that I get back same time. Well, that and then again, big up for the renewal of the driver's license. And if you go for your NIS, because you'll be getting that the same day. The because NIS, so, you get that same so day. I can't understand why you can't get your, your ID. The, the same why you can't day, get it? A day the, after. Or a two day after. I mean, I why you can't get it in a space of two weeks? Give them two weeks. Yeah, Nothing yeah. wrong with a two weeks. Why you can't get it back in a two weeks? See me TRN. I signed up for my TRN last year, September. I'ma come here. No, I went September. No man. July. Me sign up for it in a July of last year. And then tell me see three months. Right? When we go up there, when we go for my TRN in October, which that would have be three months or whatever be the case. When we got the paper still sit down in the drawer where the boy put on the paper. Application no go through. You understand what I say? Oh my god, she's like, oh, it's not ready. I'm miss me see when I take up the paper. The application not send off. You understand? And I'm tell, me tell her, so listen, I'm going to be here until a certain, certain time and I need my tearing. And she said, okay, come back in December. You see, me talk about them, I said, no, I a sadness, man. And they need to fix them something. I'm not telling them, like, like, guys, I'm going to share up the video, spread the video, yeah. Make them get, make certain people get for cities. Cause a lot of we, no one talk up about this something here. Yeah. But nobody can do nothing. Now we right, so we, uh, we have right to talk. So I don't see why some people don't sit down and take it. Me tired for take it. I don't sit down and take this shit no more. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. And um, I hope you guys can share this video. So people of importance that can really fix these issues get to see this video. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so until next time we're out. Bye.